Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Linda and I'm a product designer from Toronto. So for today's video has been very highly requested and that is going through three to four different ways um, and tools you guys can use to build your own portfolio website. And before I go into the tools, I just want to mention that there is no right or wrong platform. Um, it really just depends on what you're looking for and your needs as well. So I'll be covering those in each of those different tools. So the very first tool I'll be covering is Squarespace and that is what I'm currently using at the moment. Um, for those who don't know what Squarespace is, it's basically just a website building and hosting platform. Um, I'm currently on the personal plan, which I pay 144 yearly USD um, because it's cheaper than paying like monthly. So as you can see on this site, um, basically if you pay annually, it is a lot cheaper. So I pay for this personal plan right here. Um, it just comes with, you know, a free custom domain, basically unlimited bandwidth and storage, um, templates, let's see, and just kind of the basics for your website portfolio. Squarespace, the pros are that one, there are numerous amount of templates. Um, they do specialize in like portfolio templates as well, so the designs on those are very sleek, modern, and clean, um, which if you want to go for that look, they do it very well. The second pro is that they are fully responsive, so you don't have to worry about how it looks or interacts on smaller devices or bigger devices as well. The third pro is that you don't need to know how to code, which a lot of beginner designers um, who are new to the industry will not know how to, so that's a very big advantage and pro that Squarespace offers that they have all these great templates that you can use that look like maybe you designed it um, but you didn't obviously and you can just go in and kind of drag and drop and replace stuff with your own content. That being said there are some cons as well with Squarespace and the number one thing is that the usability of the website editor could be improved especially the autosave. Um, there is no autosave so that's a very big con for myself. Another con would be that because they use a grid system all the elements need to be snapped within the template. Um, so there's a lot of clicking and like moving things around making sure it snaps to sit different elements within the template and it can get confusing at times and also frustrating sometimes it might take longer to even kind of like customize your own way um, so there is a restriction in terms of customizing the actual template itself third con would be that there is no way to go back on older versions so if you were if you move something by accident and then you save that um, you can't go back to the previous version of that as well and the very last con would be that there's no free plan. You have to get onto a personal plan in order to kind of create your own website and host it on there as well. So because I'm currently using uh, Squarespace at the moment, I'll actually show you guys what template I use and how I kind of edit the template itself. So under websites here, I'll go into edit site. And then basically you have this tab going into like the different pages that you can edit and move around of course and then you can have your design which is like the template um, right now I'm currently using uh, Avenue right here uh, you guys can use it too if you guys want a very simple and modern design which I'm using in order to edit hover over different elements you can edit within here to be honest um, once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy to use but there is definitely a learning curve in terms of um, like I said earlier, there is a grid system, so you need to be able to move things around beside certain elements. You need to get it very specific to that element itself. I'm not going to really change it around because if I do, I'll probably mess up my website, which I don't want to do. Um, of course, like I said, there's no autosave, so you have to kind of save it yourself. And this essentially will go live. There is no like submit button. And then here is like the widgets that you get. Um, the content blocks so you would click that and then you have all these different options. Second tool I'm going to mention today is Wix. If you guys aren't familiar with Wix, it's another drag and drop site builder for creating smaller websites. I've personally never used Wix before but I've heard some good things about it and I'll just kind of go through and compare pricing and the pros and cons for each one. So for Wix, I think I believe um, 
the similar to the personal plan on Squarespace. Theirs is called Combo, and that you would pay ten dollars a month uh, USD. So it's two dollars cheaper than Squarespace. Um, not much cheaper, but it's still cheaper. So the very first pro for Wix is that they do have a free option, which is great um, for those who are not ready to commit to paying for something yet, and they want to experiment with the templates and building their website first before actually hosting and buying it, then I think this is a very good option for you guys. Second pro is that they do have a very intuitive drag and drop interface. And the last pro is that they do have backup versions for you to go back to. Like I said earlier, Squarespace does not. So Wix has that option, which is great. And I think that's a very big pro. So now let's get into the cons of Wix. And the very first one is that if you're on a free plan, um, they force you to use Wix branding. Um, it's not super major, but for me personally, I don't want people to know I'm using Wix or any other uh, site for that matter. The second con would be that the templates are not interchangeable. So when you're on one template and you've created a whole website, you can't transfer that information somewhere else. You'd essentially create a whole new website and like copy the one that you did before. So that can be kind of annoying and frustrating. It's definitely a con in my eyes. The third tool that I'm mentioning today would be Webflow. It's just another website building and hosting platform. So Webflow, it's ideal for users who don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of the code itself but they want to be able to fully customize um, their website and the template that they're using. In terms of price um, that's similar to the Wix and Squarespace as well those plans it would be $12 USD monthly for the year. Um, the great thing is Webflow also has a free version where you can like build your website um, but you can't actually host it on the site itself. So in terms of the pros of Webflow, it has everything that Squarespace and Wix has and more. I think the biggest pro that Webflow has is a fully customizable option. It's really great for designers who don't know how to code, um, but they can fully customize it to how they want. They can do any type of design on Webflow. So that's the very big advantage of that itself. So in terms of cons, the biggest thing is that there is definitely a bigger learning curve using Webflow um, compared to Squarespace and Wix. I think it's a bit harder to use, but again, like anything, if you get the hang of it and use it enough, it'll get easier. And the last con for Webflow is that it is more expensive if you do need CMS within your website. So the very last way to build or create your website would be just coding it yourself. Um, so the pros to this is that there's no limitations on how you design or customize your website because you're coding it yourself. So you're essentially just making it the way you want it to look. Second big pro is that it's a lot cheaper to host um, your website when you do code it yourself as you're not paying for like a monthly um, subscription like Wix, Squarespace, and Webflow. Um, so overall it is cheaper. And then for cons, for the obvious one, there's a very big learning curve because you need to learn how to code and put in time and effort um, into learning how to do that. And obviously there's like learning how to do good code, there's bad code, um, performance level and stuff like that. You need to also consider that as well. And second con would be that it's not as easy to kind of edit and change the website the way you want it. Um, you can't just like go into a platform like Wix, Squarespace, and Webflow and like edit it and change it out. Uh, you need to just like fully recode whatever element you want within the website. So that's definitely a con as well. So those are four different ways you guys can create and build your website portfolio. Um, so I'll be talking about which one do I think is the best. And to be honest, there is no like best one. It really depends on what you are looking for and your needs. The very first person would be, if you want a quick fix, that would be Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, uh, Webflow, any of those website builders. Or do you eventually want to code and apply that to your work? So those are two different people and users, so it just really depends on who you are. But if I had to choose one, it'd definitely be Webflow at the moment, and that's because where I am as a designer, um, I do eventually wanna learn how to code, but just not right now. I know that Webflow is fully customizable in the sense where I don't need to know how to code, 
but if I do learn, I can always apply that to the website and the templates itself. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely just like a high level overview of all the different tools uh, that you can use to build your website. I know this was a very highly requested video, so hopefully it was helpful and you guys learned something or figured out which one would best suit you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!